So who do you reach out to when times are dark or you need a friend? Most of us have a person or even, you know, how lovely if we have many. But for the young people at my friend's place, some of them have no one. That's unfathomable. So we want to be their someone. We want to be the place that they go to. We want to be their friend's place. So I'm originally from St. Paul, Minnesota, and I came here with a friend. We just had to get up and get out of Minnesota right then and there when we did and the way that we did. I was pregnant. I was unprepared. And I also had been suffering severely from some mental illness problems from depression and um, post-traumatic stress disorder. And I was really at just at the end of my ropes and feeling very down and hopeless. I was homeless. I was staying on like the bus or at a bus station or a bus stop. At the end of the day, like when all the drop-in centers are closed and there's no shelters that are, um, that have like emergency beds and stuff like that, we're wondering like where we're gonna sleep. One of the most challenging things being homeless in Hollywood is the rainy nights. And so I have to dress in layers to uh, get through the days and through the nights. There's no one easy explanation of why these young people are on the streets. The fact of the matter is, it's systems at all levels that are failing these young people. It's adults in their life who aren't showing up for them when they need them the most. But what really matters is that it will take all the adults in the community to come together to protect these young people, to support them, to help them find that self-sufficiency. So I think in every aspect of our programming at My Friend's Place, we really let the young people themselves define what success looks for them. Before My Friend's Place came into my life, I wasn't really interested in doing anything with myself, like working or going back to school. But once I started, I got more interested and I was communicating with people and having fun and learning lessons. It helped a lot. That you dare to dream really do come true. Hi! Hi. <laughs> How are you? I'm doing well, thank oh you. Oh my goodness, it's so good to see you. <laughs> nice to see you. To know that my friend's place and their wondrous staff looked at me to care about opened up a whole new world of joy, love, and laughter. At my friend's place, I feel like I can be myself. They help me become more me. I think my friend's place helps young parents like your toys by you know, giving them the opportunity to participate in the parenting class, uh, connecting with peers, uh, educating them about um, you know what it is to, to be a parent. This place really like put so many things in place for me to just get to my next step that I would not have been able to do by myself. Thank God for these resources because what the heck was I gonna do? I was so scared like I don't want the government to take my kid because I'm homeless and I can't take care of her because it's been my dream since I was a little girl to be a mom. I just wanted to do it in different circumstances. There are so many moments every day where you just see a glimpse of a young person's healing or a young person's transformation, or you just get this sense that they're gonna be okay. And I'm so glad to have known so many young people who have gone on to be okay. They helped me like in a pinch. When I found out I was pregnant nine months later, I had housing, I have furniture, I have all the clothes and diapers and wipes that I need for my baby. And I did it in a short period of time thanks to these resources. I'm currently in transitional housing, so I've been dealing with case management, referrals. Now I'm just waiting for my voucher. Four years ago is what I found out about what vouchers really are. And then I was like, okay, well, I want to try to get a voucher, but it's just been a waiting game. On my journey to finding housing, my friend's place helped me along the way so much. My case manager helped me with rights and laws because you must fight for your right in housing. And my friend's place helped me to furnish the housing. Everything I needed to move into my apartment, my friend's place helped me out with. That key to housing doesn't only unlock 
the door to a bed, to a room, it really unlocks the possibility for a young person to look at their life in such a different way. But we also know that young people absolutely have to have community when they unlock that door. And that's what My Friends Place is standing by those young people so that they know they can return to My Friends Place for that, yes, you can do this. Now that I have my apartment, I feel very accomplished and I can give myself a pat on the back because <laughs> I've worked so hard to be where I am and I thank God for everything. I'm very proud of the home that I created. The baby can watch Sesame Street. She has all her toys. Like, I watch her play and I'm like, yes, like, thank goodness, like, thank goodness. This is what it's all about. This is why I, d I did all this. I have clothes on my back and I'm clean and I have a job and I'm done with school for computer coding and I'm thinking about going back. I just got news that the drop-in center that I am going to has received their vouchers. So I um, possibly can be housed finally, but I'm really happy that I do have some success so far and I'm not done. We can do so much more for the young people of Los Angeles in this circumstance. Let's afford them opportunity and let's get them home. <laughs>